Hello friends, in this video I will be explaining the code of night tour problem. So in my previous video I have already explained the recursive flow and discussed the generalized code. By using that code we will be able to write the backtracking program in an organized manner. Okay, so let's start. See, first of all in main function I have declared the solution board. The, the size is 8 cross 8 and it will contain minus 1 initially. Okay, so I have initialized all the squares minus 1. So we know that there will be an empty board of size 8 cross 8. Okay, and we need to pass this board in a recursive function in order to generate our solution. So in my previous video, I have already discussed about the problem statement and all. Briefly, I will discuss right now. Like we need to find the path traveled by the night starting from the first location of this board, like from 0, 0. So starting position is 0, 0. So from this point, we need to find the path traveled by the night. And remember that each square in this board will be visited exactly once. So in order to ensure this, we have to fill this square with step number or move number. Okay. So suppose this is the board and I'll be starting with the first cell. So I'll place zero here initially. So this is the move number. Like I'll be starting with this. And as we know the rules, of chess that knight follows so it will jump here like it is having eight choices available it can go up diagonally up left right okay so in order to there are constraints also like it can't move outside the board and all so it will be including in our code okay so let's start see I have created a solution which will be containing minus 1 initially. Then for direction, I have created two different arrays which will store the coordinates. Okay, which will store the coordinates of the cell. Like for example, this is our board. Okay, so I have represented this board as a coordinate system. Suppose our knight is in this position, so it can move in eight direction. Like it can move in this direction, in this, over here, okay, um, over here, here, in this direction, and in this direction. So it can move in eight directions. So these points are being represented as a coordinate point. So if we plot the graph and we'll find the point, we'll be seeing that this point coordinate is minus one and minus two. Okay. This point coordinate is minus two on the x-axis. This is minus two on the x-axis and minus one on the y-axis. Okay. So like this, there, there will be eight coordinates eight points around each square okay so in order to store this information in a pair like I have created this so this is for x comma y one location this is another square position so likewise there are eight choices so there are eight point pairs okay so by this way I have represented the direction and Initially, we have to start from the first cell. So, I've, by default, I have initialized it with 0. Like, as it is the first cell, so the move number or step number currently will be the 0. Now, I have created user defined function that is solve function which is recursive in nature. So, backtracking is nothing but recursion. 
with some condition that we need to maintain like the bounding conditions the constraints okay because there are choices available there are decisions that knight can go there or not like this so i have passed all the details i have passed starting and uh, starting row and column then move the next move then i have passed these two arrays okay and solution board so the main role of this solve function is to return true or false whether solution exists or not like whether there is possible path or not so if it is false then no solution otherwise we'll be printing the board okay otherwise we'll be printing the board so this solve function will call this one and as it is recursive therefore we need base case so the size or the dimension of the board is 8 cross 8 so the movement the step number will be 64 as because there are total 64 cells available so as the step number will be 64 then will be returning true that yes we have filled all the cells with some step numbers okay now these are the choices available like there are eight choices eight directions from a location that we can that knight can traverse on okay consider the empty cell empty board okay 8 cross 8 or i'll take small okay so this is the empty board initial position is this i've initialized it with 0 and rest of the cells i have initialized with minus 1 okay so we have to find the next location from this cell that knight can move on with okay so it will be initial position of x which is 0 comma 0 the initial position is 0 comma 0 plus the array which i have created the point the points array which i have created for moving in eight directions so this loop will have those points one by one and will find the next location where this knight can move on okay so suppose from this the first pair was minus 2 and something like one or some different x and y points are there so from this cell suppose the knight will move in this so before placing this point before placing the step number in this location first i'll be calling the save function this save function is quite simple it will return true or false after checking whether we can place the step number or the move number or whether this location is safe or not so it must not be outside the board so that's why i have written this line it it must not be in outside this empty board and initially the value inside that was minus 1 so it must be minus 1 okay suppose like i have visited i have already visited this cell and the step number was 3 now i am here okay and i want next location and this for loop generated me this location as a next location so before placing this i'll call save function and in the save function due to this it will return false as because in this location the value 3 is there not minus 1 so that's why it will return false and we need to go we need to do backtrack and we need to again find our next safe location okay so this is the safe function the working of safe function yeah now if we is safe is true i'll place the move number so this move is nothing but move number and recur next y by increasing this move plus 1 because already i have filled move in this cell so i need i need to increase the move number for different cell location okay now this is the recursive function so the caller of each square is this solve function okay so 
so i am creating the board right now suppose this is the board okay so right now i am here the move number is something like 2 or 3 2 suppose the move number is 2 now I, now i need to like find the next location and all the eight choice that are available to me is filled with some step number okay so i need to move from this location to the next location so in that case this for loop will search for the next location and before filling the step number it will call save function so this save function is going to return false for every location as because already there are some step numbers in that possible eight locations okay so it will not so this piece of code will not work so it, this piece of code will not work and it will move outside the for loop it will move outside this for loop and will return false so this will return false to the caller of this cell so suppose the caller of this cell was this so it will return false and it will backtrack to the previous cell who has called this cell okay so it will backtrack to this cell and will find the next possible location from this point and resume the iteration resume this choice iteration okay so this was to make it as minus 1 so like suppose it contains value uh 1 so from this the control will find suppose this as a safe location and the value will be like 2 now from this there are no possible locations i'm just telling the example like from this we are not able to find the choices okay so this will like return false to the caller so this cell will return false to the caller and the caller of this cell this cell was this okay so it will backtrack to this and it will return false and this solve function will get false so return true will not work now else piece of code will run and it will get it will change from minus it will change from 1 to minus 1 like to its initial value and again start to find the next possible choice so by this way the whole solution is going to form so this is all about night tour and if we see the recursion tree like from a point suppose from 0, 0 i find a location which was like 2, 1 so from each point there will be eight different choices available so eight choices are there okay so eight choices are there and from this again i'll search for the next save and i found this now from this i am not able to find any location which is safe so what i will do i will do backtrack and will go over here and from this i'll again resume my iteration resume my choices i'll find the next choice available which is safe and again suppose i i was not able to find any other choices from this part this point of view from this point now again what i will do i will do backtrack so like from a node eight possible choices are there so there are eight choices and the total number of cell is n square so for each cell eight choices available and total number of cells is n square the time complexity will be 8 to the power n square ultimately an exponential time so this is all about night 2 code is in the description